then the next generation comes. Previously the generation. on the Silburn yeah. Show and with Angela Ma. Nothing seems to happen. So you get to a point where you think, we've got to do for ourselves. Yeah. Because that's the only way it's going to work. If you keep saying to somebody, can I come to your party? And they say, yes, you can, but you must stand over there. Yeah. You're going to stop going to that party. Yeah. You're going to start up your own party. And, and I believe it, it's so very important, like what you mentioned earlier about knowing who you are and um, young people, you, you go away and you come back and um, the base, the home. And what I wanted to say earlier, and it, it stuck in my head, I didn't forget it. Mm. It's about your, the family and the neighborhood and your village. You yeah. said that the church preacher or the church mo mother could conk you in your head and say, no, you are missing your daughter, whatever like yeah. that. And what is happening now? And I was speaking it about you know, the knife crime issues yeah. there whereby I know that growing up in Jamaica that my parents alone couldn't have actually grown me. Yeah. I know that is, and I call the name, Mr. Lester next door, Mattis, the Johnsons there, the Nelsons yeah. there. Every one of them could, if I'm on the road in Ocherous, Jamaica, could actually pull me up, get me in their car and take me home. Yeah. And I would not say anything. Yeah. And, and we don't have that anymore. We don't have that. And the reason why we yeah. don't have that is because we're, so, we're you know, people say the kids are bad and the yeah. kids are this. The kids are not bad. Yeah. They are a product of it's society. society yes. And if we are broken in the families, because we have siblings there, our kids have seen us not speak to. Yes. We know they've seen us be abused. They've watched the white man treat us a certain way. Yes. They've watched people um, not be fair. Mm. And they've been watching this and they don't have the support or the outlet to, uh, to try and process it. Yes. Because we're too busy trying to be successful. Yes. We're too busy trying to get a car, trying to get a house, yes. trying to keep moving on yes. and just dragging them with us. Yes. So we weren't dragged up, we were raised. Mm. And some of the kids have been dragged, dragged. along. And we can't. And, and they'll be battered along the way, isn't it? Yes. And, and so we can't, mm. we can't stop somebody and say, oh, your child, I wanted to say, because then this person's going to have a problem with me. Yes. So we haven't taught, taught our children to respect the elders. So therefore, we can't have a village. And then the elders are not respecting each other. Yeah. So we've got a breakdown. We've got to mm. take a lot of responsibility. Yes. Because when the first child was getting stabbed, we should have noticed. When the second child was getting stabbed, we should have really set something in place. Yeah. Because to have your child stabbed and killed, we can't say, oh, what do them pick me then? Then why yeah. do you say, and close the door? Yeah. Because then they come for you. Mm. And if you're not, we, who are we? By the grace of God, go I. Because mm. tomorrow it could be our story. It's next door. We all know somebody who knows somebody whose child has been killed. Yes. It's that close. It's like cancer. Cancer used to be over there. Yeah. Now it's, oh my God, they got cancer. Everybody can sort of relate to somebody that One had cancer. Two. Yes. And so therefore it's that close. Yes. Now it's really close. And now people are saying, well, what are we really going to do? Yeah. Oh, you think it's just now? Yeah. And everybody wants a quick fix and blaming government. And yeah. no, no, it's, it may not be the long term as all the, the mayor is saying, but it's got to be a long term process. To think that you would wait on them. Mm. 10 years, three years, two years, mm. to think you would wait on them. Yes. All I would like the government to do is put police on the street. Yeah. So that when I'm walking on the street, I can say, well, at least there's some sort of deterrent. Yes. And turn the lights up. You notice that the lights are now changed and yeah, they're, dim they're and dim, dark. Yes. So we're living in a very dark time with no policing. Come mm. on, what happens in the dark? Yeah. No, not Idle hands and, yeah. That's yeah. right. Mm. And so if I see young kids, I'm supposed to be say, able to say, where's your mum? Where's your dad? All right, you look, come and stay with me and let me give you something to eat yeah. until your parents come home. Because that's all it was for us, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes, yes. Until your parents get home, yeah. then you can go about your business. So I'm, I, I, I feel passionate about it. Mm. I'm doing some coffee mornings because I want to sit down with some mothers and fathers yes. to say, what can we do? Because somebody's raising a murderer. Yes. And somebody's raising a child who's going to get killed. Yes. We've got to look at it like that. Yeah. 
And so somebody's going to have to take responsibility. And, 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 and that's got to be the parents. And, 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 that, and that is so serious because e even with, you might have a mother who is, um, you know, parents, whatever, learning difficulty. The fact of the situation is that they've got learning difficulties. So we can't, once, I, I used to even say, oh, the parents are parents are parents. But I realized, no, it's not just the parents. It's that's the right. And it's not just, it's not, it's not bad parenting that's yeah. doing it because these kids are coming, both sides are yeah. coming from, strong family values yes. they're coming from it's not this boring thing about single parents and yeah. where are the dads if we could just remove that yes yes because i've got friends that are we've all going through something yeah. with our children because mm -hmm. these generation of children are different you know you could talk to my mum wouldn't have to say much mm. if she came into a room to tell me to she do something look for you. she just look and go and i would read then I would have, you're sitting on the aisle there, mm. and this need doing and that need doing. Yeah. That would be all she could do, yeah. just look, and I would have worked that out. Yeah. I can come home and say to my kids, really? Yeah. Have you not done that? And, uh, and they look at me like, really, mum, what's the issue? My mother used to just say, <laughs> call my father name, wait until your father come home. That's <laughs> all she used to do, Classic. wait until your father come home. But that silence, yeah. sometimes I've, I'd prefer they were shouting. Yeah. It's the silence of our older generation that yeah. was lethal. Yes. And now we're making noise and still not being heard. Wow, wow. And you, we, it's like it's going in full circles, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. what a link. It's like, it's like <laughs> what it's a going link. In, it's going in full circles. I mean, yeah. um, turning your gift around. I mean, this is another of your product. It's like, Angie, it's like um, your years of service, 30 years in the business? Maybe 35 years. 35 years. It's like you're now giving it to the world. Yeah. And... Um, Tell us about turning your gift around and the full circle. Well, you know, it's it, on so many levels. Yes. You, you, you think you want something, you go for it, and you come back later in life and you get yes. it. You start in the church, you leave it, you come back. Mm. And so I realised that my life had done like a full circle. Yes, yes. But just on another level. Mm. And I think it was important to capture my story because I want to go down in history. Yes. I'm going to go down in history, but I would like it to be with the facts. Yes. As opposed Writing to... Writing your own story. Yeah. Absolutely write your own story. Yes. And it will benefit somebody. Somebody somewhere is going to read my book and laugh. Somebody somewhere is going to read the chapter about my dad and cry. Yes. Because it was Dawn Butler yes. who uh, messaged me and said, you didn't put a warning on this book because I'm in my room crying because yeah. she lost her dad. Okay. And so that was a hard chapter to write. Because yeah. I tell you, my dad was the Don. Done up dons. He was the man. Yeah. I love that man. Mm. I miss him, miss him. Mm. But I had a great dad. That's mm. why I can lean back. I'm not mm. insecure. Mm. I don't lack confidence because I had a great dad yeah. who loved me and showed me what love was from a male figure. Yes. First, yes. he was more than my hero. Yes. And so to write that chapter was hard. And I've done the... Um, the book launch on his birthday yes. and it was only when I sat there at the book launch and I thought you stupid girl why did you try and think you would be emotionally strong enough yeah. to do on his birthday because mm. the first question Brenda said to me so tell us about your dad and I was like <laughs> mm. and I get like that sometimes yeah. but the memories and I and I wanted to capture him so that people know about my dad yes. because that's why yeah. I'm who I am so men when you have daughters Mm. You are their first hero. Mm. And you teach them how to love. Yeah. You know, I, I got a lot of love. And I say to my husband with my daughter, you know, you take her to dinner first. Mm. You give her the free course meal. You show her from early mm. how it's supposed to be done. Are you talking to me? You tell me no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, my daughter is six. Yeah. I'm taking oh, it in. Yeah. <laughs> She's six years of age. So I'm so taking what you're saying. So you take her to, yes, yes. To, to dinner first and say, yes. this is how we do it. Yes. So that when she sits down with another man, she goes, mm. but my dad... Mm. did it like this yes. so she knows so those men who have walked away from their daughters mm. walk back mm. because she can make some really unsound decisions based on the fact that the stability yes. of the father and, and you're so right regarding the whole thing regarding the, the stability of the father because if, if my father passed away as well in, yeah. in Jamaica and one of the things that my siblings we all know is that we never knew if they lack in anything and Jamaica is not like you say, we're from a, a well-off family, yeah. but there was a covering, yeah. Angie. There was a covering whereby, even if they lacked, they covered it so much that we felt secure, That's we were right. secure. Yeah, because you know when you, you hear your story back and you go, yeah. I had a great childhood. Yeah. Because you think, I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. 
I didn't know. What, did everybody pay the bills? Everything yeah. saw me, did it? I, I, yeah. I just come and I eat and yeah. I sleep. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. to be able to give a child that. Yeah. So this is why some of the kids today are so insecure. Mm. Because behind the scenes, we're not tightening it up. Yeah. We're not making them go, you go and fly while we fix this thing. You know, we're letting them know, we're talking our business in front of them. We're saying, you know what I mean? Guess what happened the other day? Can you believe that? We're, we're sharing too much. Yes. And we're loading them with stuff. Wow. All we're supposed to say is, you go to school and you get back. You get a hobby and I'll make yes. sure you're there. Yes. My dad used to pick me up from drama Monday and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. At nine o'clock the door would creak. Yes. And everybody would look at me and go, your dad's here. <laughs> your dad's <laughs> here. And I'd be like... <laughs> like, can't I just walk home with my friends? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And it's like, but that guarantee. Yes. yes. I was in Jamaica a couple of years this was before he died. And I tell you, the rain started. I walk every morning. Yes. The rain started. And I said, watch my dad come and pick me up. Mm, mm. Come and, and I looked at it. I saw the, the Jeep coming up the road. Yeah. I said, that's just my dad. Yeah. And I looked, I said, dad, I could have walked home because, well, you don't know. Yeah. I, I, that, that's what my dad gave me, yeah. and that didn't cost anything. Yeah. So we must be able to give our kids, the, they don't need the, the iPads, the yeah. phone, the this. Yes. They need to be able to eat well, they need to be able to sleep well, yes. and yes. they need to be able to come to us. Because these kids out there are getting trapped. Mm. And what they're mm. lacking in home, they get on the street. But there's a cost. Yes. There is a cost. That's why we're losing a lot of our kids. Wow. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we, take, oh, wow. <laughs> we, we take a quick break and, and come back after this, uh, this moving bit here and uh, talk about Angie Moore, uh, about Windrush and her final thoughts. Thank you. Cheers. We are an incredible entrepreneurial generation, but often we lack support and a firm foundation. Let's make a change. Let's build brands with deep roots. You've already done the hard part. You started. Now all you need is momentum. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for joining us back with Angela Mar as we explore, and I think we're now in the heavens <laughs> about to, to dip now. And um, real quick, because you're sort of familiar um, about the word Windrush. I don't know if your parents were a part of the Windrush. Yeah, they, they came after the Windrush. Yeah. What, what were your quick thoughts about what happened um, with the Windrush? Uh, because a lot of it has to do also, the, the Windrush era or, or the persons, you know, I'm also even careful now when they say the Windrush because I think people are even twisting them and jumping in a certain way because the Windrush era, we're talking about people, sometimes it seems a bit very like a, mm. a statistics thing. Yeah. But those people are those are family members, are those Jamaicans or Caribbean who came. What did they represent? Because there's always a saying that they came to simply make some money and go home. Mm -hmm there was not the thinking to build. Um, and therefore, they had to learn to build and to build a status quo because children came on the scene and they met this person, whatever like that. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about that era? And, and, and for to find ourselves in this situation mm -hmm. whereby we had to also have the government from the Caribbean to come and to sort of get things going, you think we sort of failed ourselves in a way? Wow. Okay. Yes. I think that we, when I think about the wind rush, yeah. um, especially in recent years, it's, it's quite heartbreaking. Mm. And we have been here before. We have come over on the boats yeah. before. Before, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, you're right about that. So, <laughs> yeah, go on, come back. Yeah, yeah. So we, we've done the boats. Yeah. We, we, it goes right back to slavery. Yeah. But you want us for a purpose. Yes. But you have no plan for us. Yes. So we come to your countries to build it, but mm. you have no plans for us to stay, yeah. which is the mis 
understanding of what the relationship is from slavery yeah. to now yeah. with the Windrush. So w my dad came over to, s to work for five years mm. and get his money and go. So everybody had a plan to go back, but they could stay. Not that they wanted to, but they could. The choice was there. Yes. And so you gave us this choice. We come here, we clean your country up because you sent for us. We come back here, we clean your country up, we start to make life. Mm. You say no dogs, no blacks, no Irish. Mm. You do all of those things. We can't come to your church because you let us in the first mm. Sunday, but we mustn't come back the following Sunday. Mm. And you are God people. Mm. Okay, we get that. Let's start our own churches. Yes. We build our lives, but you still didn't have a plan for us. Mm. After we were fixing your lives and inspiring and changing yes. and doing all these things and building generations, so when I heard about what had happened with the government and people going back home and not being able to come, come back, back yes. I thought you couldn't write it. And I thought, okay, it's a small mistake, mm. maybe one, two or three or four, because surely they couldn't yeah. be so evil. Yeah. And, and then I laughed to myself when I thought, and that's where you go wrong, mm. because you forget what you're dealing with. Mm. They, people don't want us here. Mm. Some people, let's say yeah, some, yeah, yeah. don't want us here. And we're surplus to a, a requirement now. And the people who didn't get their papers in order, yeah. how could you not think for one minute that somebody who goes on a holiday, who leaves their family here, can't come back into the country and that's okay? Yes. So I, I, I wasn't shocked. Mm. I was just heartbroken. Especially when you see somebody who can't go and bury their parents. Yes or somebody can't get back into the country to bury parents or to yeah. be gut to their families. To see their yeah. families. Yeah. And that's when I realized that, you know what? We really need to look after ourselves yeah. and be really informed on information that we can look out for our neighbors. Yes. Because it was a neighbor who said to my mum, get your, my brother's papers in order years ago. Mm. And if she hadn't done that, then my brothers would be probably on the plane. Yes. Yes. So I think that we needed to be a little bit more aware of each other. Yeah. And now we are fighting for each other. Social media is so powerful. Yes. And I thank God for that because some things would have been hidden. Yes. And this has been going on for a very long time. So when I look at the government, I don't look at the government like they're friendly towards mm. us as a, as, a, as a community. So I'm very devastated by that. Yeah. And, I, and it's heartbreaking to know that people have died. In the process. In the process. Yes. No, it, it, it's, it's, it's a dog on chain, as, as, that's the best word, well, it's an understatement actually regarding the whole thing. And, um, you know, they're now in the whole throes of trying to sort out this compensation bit now, whereby they're trying to cap it. And, it, you know, yeah. you see, the knife crime thing, even with this, it shows that you can't expect other people to care for you. Okay. <laughs> I think that's what it's really saying. Yeah. And therefore, if nobody's going to care for you, who is going to care for you? You, we, ourselves. That's right. Because in this informational time now, where you think people are looking out for you, there's ki young kids who are on a, a private data yeah. for a crime, and that must not get out because their um, security, their, their, their safety is at home. Yeah. That's been leaked. Mm. So we're going to see a lot more stuff coming out that's going to be detrimental to, all, to, to us as a community. Yes. Because something as important as not knowing who these gang members are because they're under some sort of protection, yes. that's yeah. now been leaked. Yeah. So you're going to see some madness take place. Mm. Mm. Now, the mistakes that people are making, it makes you wonder, is that deliberate? Yeah. Did they plan this? Did it's they you know, stop and search and all of those things? Those things that, you know, when I think about stop and search, yeah. and I think to myself, it's a difficult one. Because if you don't teach us how to teach your, your um, police force to, mm. to stop and search us, then we've got a problem. Yeah. But you need to stop and search these kids are walking with knives. Yes. So you leave us to our, our own device. Yes. There's a thought, and there's a thinking, and it could be in some rooms, whereby let them do the job for us. Okay. That's right. Kill off, kill off. I don't want yeah. to say it, you know. Let them let deal with, let them deal with themselves. Let them deal with themselves and then we'll have less one or two on the road. Until they come for you. Yeah, until they come for you. So yeah. when they come for you, mm. you think, oh, we've got a problem. Yes. Because when they look like us, it's your problem yes. and your community. But mm. no, we live in a society yes. whereby he done that, he's wrong, she done that, she's wrong. Deal with them. 
yeah. not the colour. Yeah. Deal with them. So if you're going to stop and search that guy, do it because you have information yeah. and you're worried and you're concerned and so you stop and search. Yes. And so we have to teach our children how to be stopped and search and what the actual law is. Yeah. And how, and how to be, uh, how to handle it, how to That's diffuse right. it. I was watching a video in America, well, America is a bit crazy, but mm. there's this girl, this guy, the police was going to um, put down the girl, put down, he had a knife, he's a guy homeless. Mm. And the girl was just saying to him, do please, yeah. lie down, just lie, lie down, down. It's not put your hand behind your back, not worth dying for, just do that. And the guy did it, you know, yeah. because it was like, the amount of times I've done that, yeah. just walk, you know, I see this, I, I can't help it. I see the kids getting yeah. stopped and I can see they're, they're getting a bit hyper. Yeah. And I've gone over and just said, listen, just chill out, mm. chill out, you know, because this is what they want. Yeah. Now just calm down. Yeah. And you know, when they try to go, man, move out of the way, I can go, it's okay, I'm okay. Mm. It's not going to be what you want yeah. it to be. So we have to not look at the kids and go, hmm, look upon them, them yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're yours. Yes. They're yours. And the thing about these children, we didn't get to know them, you know. I, I mean, yeah. I, one day I was driving, one day, well, three or four guys in a car, you know what I mean? And I was there, and their face looked like, and I said, come on, guys, you guys need to go to Ochi if you go on a beach and be <laughs> nice. Yeah, 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 and I'm yeah. saying, yeah, 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 you know. But, yeah. you know, but it, it, you could have actually just looked back at them, but. Because it, when you show love, yeah. it can only react yes. in a certain way. Yes. If you show hate and despise and disappointment, mm. that's going to come back. Yeah. I've seen these guys beating up these guys once. Was with me and Sherry Dixon, I know yeah. you had Sherry. We came, we, we jumped out. We saw three black men drive by in the car thinking, oh, they'll stop it. Yeah. And they drove by. So me and Sherry was like, well, we got to jump out. So we jumped out. Oh, no, stop it! Stop it! Trying to get right in the middle. Yeah. And then this guy just went, I know you. You spent a rubber car, innit? <laughs> <laughs> you know when you think... Thank God for the room of <laughs> <laughs> And so they ran off. And this guy was on the floor bleeding. Yeah. And he got up and ran off. Yeah. And I said, we sat, me and Sherry were sat there going, what could have happened there? Yeah. So that's one of the key answers whereby the community take responsibility for themselves. Yeah. They need to see us on the streets. Yeah. If you're, if you're you know, it's, for me, this is my little format. Yeah. Four to six, seven is the most dangerous time for children between 12 and 17. Yes. That's the time the church door should open. Yeah, I've been talking about that these days. Last days yeah. Let them go inside. You don't need no prayer meeting. Yeah. You don't need no Bible scriptures. All you need to do is put a pool table over there, yeah. put a tennis, whatever, put some t TV, yeah. some sandwiches, some food, some whatever, yeah. and just sit there. Yeah. Three hours, parents come to their churches, pick yeah. them up and go home yeah. and shut the door. You mm. see them on church eventually on Sunday yes. because you know what? They'll say love is kind and they'll go, wow, they didn't say anything about the church or mm. preaching or nothing. They just let us come in and eat. Yes. It was warm. It was loving. Bit of music. Bit of their music. Yeah. It's actually okay. You can play, play some selective songs yes. that would make them feel like, actually... This is kind, yeah. because if the community, centers are, the community centers are closed, then the church door should open. Yeah. It's just a space. I keep saying, yeah, yeah, because the church is always closed most times, you know what I mean? And, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I have issues with that, and I'm going to yeah. fight that. Yeah, yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say, open your doors I from share four it. till six. I share it on your Facebook live yeah. as well. I follow because you. that's the thing is that- Lead me, sister, lead me. <laughs> <laughs> Power to the people. <laughs> Ministry, oh my well, God! Well, that's it. The ministry. Well, listen, Sherry. Um, <laughs> Angie, <laughs> Sherry, Sherry and Dixon. Listen, you know, she, Sherry, how are you? She was my first guest on the show. You know that, Sherry yes, and Dixon. Yeah, Sherry. And I know. <laughs> that's why I said I know you've had Sherry on the show. Yeah. So, so I'm now Sherry. Sherry. Yeah. We had some good disagreement on Facebook recently, though, Sherry. Oh. <laughs> but it's good. Don't you dare disagree with the Sherry. Nah, Sherry <laughs> Lama. <laughs> but listen, um, I want to ask one, I say, out of your career, um, what would you say? I, I'm not making it look as if you're finished, because you just start. <laughs> you know? But what would you say your great wins, uh, memorable wins, if anything? Like uh, you know that. what? I think yeah. uh, when I look at my successful life, yes. my successful life is that I, I married my best friend. Yes. I have three children. Yes. I have three grandchildren. Yes. I serve my dad to the end. Yes. And I'm looking after my mum. Wow. I feel so great about that. Yes. The other stuff I did, considering that I came from that excluded 
messed up yes. bad gal they yeah. could call me a yeah. ba bad gal <laughs> i realized gal. that I did, uh, <laughs> gal i realized i did what i wanted yeah so I became historically the, the first black female of black comedy of yeah. the um, Britain uh, comedian. Yeah. And I did a lot. And I did this and I did that. And I wrote this play because I couldn't audition because I was dyslexic. So I thought, let me write my play. My mm. first biggest play was Funny Black Women on the Edge that ran for nearly 60 years. Then I wrote The Brothers, fastest selling show in the history yeah. of um, Hackney Empire, Bar Hamlet. Mm. Then I did that and then I did this and then I did that and then I did that. Mm. So you know what? I'm pretty good. Cool. I'm pretty okay, cool. and you know, and, and, and I, 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 I had one job mm. at 21 as oh. a residential social worker, yeah. and I've never worked since. I do what I love, and I love wow. what I do. Well, well, the, the, do what you love and get paid for it. Well, you must always get paid. That's what, that's what we had a guest the other day, like a young girl, yeah. um, 10 years of age, do what you love and get paid for it. That young girl is going, yeah. Because yeah. I sat there and was like, taking my notes. Yeah. I mean, the key thing about it is do what you love and get paid. So, so mm -hmm. that's what you're saying. Yeah. You, you, you have to really work. My, my, yeah. way, my first way, Shilburn, was, and I love your name, you know, because yeah. it's my dad's best friend. Oh, Silburn. Silburn. Okay, cool. And we we'll, love going to Silburn's house. Oh, wow. So full circle. Yeah. I'm at Silburn's full house. circle. Awesome. <laughs> so, awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you get Angela Marr full circle, live and direct. Who knows? If you pay me a lot, you get even my personal audition. Ooh. I know that's not going to get. You've got to come hard. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Um, but Angie, what is your um, what would you say is your last um, your, your your mantra, the key word? You know, you have moments when you're down and everything like that. But what keeps you going, or what will you transfer to the the audience? Yeah. You know, um, somebody said to me, my friend Tony said to me, you're. Um, Weapon of warfare. It's Tony Bassett. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> Your weapon of warfare yeah. is laughter. Yes. And that's how I see it. Yeah. I make people laugh. Yes. I make people feel good. And I do that through jokes, through radio, through my plays. And that is it for me. So yeah. for me, it's about do, doing what I'm called to do. Yeah. I, I'm living my gift. Yes. So find your gift and yes. live your gift. Yes. That thing that you wake up thinking about, that thing that you must that do. That drives you. That helps somebody else's purpose. Yeah. So the purpose can't be for you, the purpose is for somebody yes. else. And the minute you find your gift, you find your purpose. So find wow. your gift and then you'll find your purpose. Find your gift, you find your purpose. Wow. Great. Angela Mar. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard the great Angela Mar. And um, it's awesome that I got from the show. Uh, the last word she said a while ago was find your gift, yeah? And you find your purpose. That is very powerful because mm -hmm. one of the things I always talk about is purpose. And once you understand your purpose, then actually you soar because, and as what a previous guest said, um, do what you love and get paid for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see some of the things which transfer through the whole process of Angie's life where she talk about being dyslexia. And why a word called dyslexia is spelled so difficult when <laughs> it's for people with dyslexia. But through it all, <laughs> there's another song I've called Through It All. Trust I've trust Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> through it all, she actually found herself. And I believe it's so important that sometimes there's a scripture in the Bible, I think, that it's hard to kick against the pricks. I think it was Saul on the road to Damascus. Mm. Hard to, and therefore, sometimes you've got to go with a particular flow, even though you know my show normally says, don't go with the flow, but sometimes you've got to go with a particular flow and find your dream, find your gift. And I believe this is a message that I believe that we got from Angela Marshall today. And I hope you got it and you watch your show, you share it and let somebody know because there's purpose in that gifting that you have. Find it. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on The Silver and Show. And uh, of course, what I'd like you to do is to like the videos, share the videos, and subscribe to the channel. Let people know about it. But the important thing is also to comment. Let us get your comments, let us get your views, so we can understand how to even please you better, ladies and gentlemen. So as I said, share, like, subscribe. Ah, thank you. I saw you there. You subscribed and you shared. Thank you so much. See you next time.
What an L. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Excuse us, Oprah. <laughs> Move over. <laughs> it's like, and you find that. I'm like, come on now. <laughs>